Okay everyone, welcome back to another video on the channel today. We're back on GT Sport and we're back with the FIA Manufacturers Championship from Wednesday's race in Group 4 at the new Sardinia track. So we, this is race number three, so the third race in the Manufacturers of the day. First two races, we got penalties on all our qualifying laps. It, it really didn't go our way. We had someone burning fuel in the middle of the corner, which meant we went straight into the back of them. An unfortunate thing but we had another round left this is a final race we managed to get a very nice qualifying lap in a 126.4 in the mustang um, a very very competitive time and put us in p4 in this top split race for the manufacturers race so some big opportunities to get big points here though we will need to keep it on the track and just try and make up places if any mistakes are made and i didn't really know what our race pace would be like compared to the very top drivers because i knew it was good we were saying in the stream we could tell the pace was good because when we were um, making the mistakes in the qualifying in the early races we were able to attack people and get behind people and overtake them so i was fairly confident i could at least match the similar type of pace to like joe who was behind me or um steve game in front of me i just wasn't really sure about the toyota 86 because we know that that car is so good on tire wear and it's able to obviously maintain that speed and the track kind of suits the Toyota 86 it's pretty much a Toyota 86 track so it's very much in favor of their their car for the overall race pace however their straight line speed wasn't particularly good and this tr track has a reasonably long straight that um, opens up some overtaking opportunity at the end so it's going to be really interesting if we could manage to pick up a good result of this some people disconnected I think in this lobby so I think they actually disconnected after the quite like in between in the qualifying when the qualifying was on so the points i don't think altered so it was still a 2.9k lobby um we're going to start this race starting from p4 we're going to stay on board with the gameplay action for the start of the race and see how we progress and very aggressive and weaving you can see me talking about it the cars i don't know whether it's something they brought in for this track or not but really aggressive on the weaving at the start we now head off into turn one the race has started and straight away everyone getting into the line following that slipstream and just making sure that you get through turn one now there's no real overtaking opportunity the cars are too spaced out so just tucking in behind steve gaming and how aggressive now we, we know from experience that steve gaming is quite an aggressive driver he he will throw moves up and he will really go for an overtake but mura also is as from my experience with him is also a very aggressive driver uh, so this could be quite an interesting mix and i kind of was thinking of that at this phase but one thing i did need to pay attention was the tie wear you'll see that my brake bias is five to the rear now the reason we're doing that is because we need to save the front tires now the mustang uses a lot of front tires up so we're going five to the rear and also we're going to just try and look after these tires during this race it's only nine laps but if we can save our tires for the last few laps we might be able to make some progress on them last couple of laps in the race as we now tuck in behind steve gaming um just as basically one thing you can do is when you're in a slipstream it gives you the ability to save tires quite well because you break a little bit earlier say don't put so much pressure on the brakes and the tires don't heat them up and you don't really take as much life out of them but then you've got the slipstream just to get back in and pull up to the rear of their car during the acceleration zone so that's one trick that lightning does and um, i remember him saying about it a long time ago and that's what i was trying to do in this race as we go through the final corner jaguar seemed a little bit struggling going into that corner but very strong coming out you'll see the straight line speed of that jaguar was pretty much unmatched i think in group four i've never seen a car that accelerates so well in top gear i think maybe the peugeot uh, is possibly a little bit fast there but that's um terrible for the corners as we now go into the sector one first corners trying to keep it nice and smooth trying not to make any massive mistakes and again just trying to trying to just stay with the slipstream battle at the moment and um see how it unfolds i could see that they were getting very close steve looking up the inside there i'm just sitting back here at this point i think jomas as well just weighing it up and um not really going to go for anything too aggressive just trying to keep it nice and smooth and again looking after our tires while they while they battle in front i can just try and keep my tires in a reasonable condition and i'm not going to lose too much time because when they battle they're going to they're going to probably lose time to each other but rick in the lead there um obviously taking advantage and he looks like he's broken that slipstream to mura and he's going to probably be able to pull away once you know if any battling kicks off and um, in a perfect position really in their p1 just pulling away having his own little race and driving very well there but for me just tucking in now again behind steve and just trying to keep it nice and consistent especially through these final corners you had to really judge this turning for this really fast right hand corner so your right hand side just skim the curb and then just cautiously downshift it and be very cautious not to turn in too early and bounce over the curb and very cautious on the exit as well that you don't go all four wheels 
over that white line because that's what happened to us in qualifying on our first two attempts at the race and that pretty much ruined our race overall for them first two but the full third race the final race we hooked the qualifying up and now we're in p4 in this race in a good position as now steve game is going to go for a move on rc Mura in front of us you can see it there he's made that move ahead of the toyota purely because of straight line speed but now will Mura fight back he's going to have the better car through the handling section and now he's got the slipstream as he goes around the outside to try and make a move there that's not going to work and joe must behind us just tucking in there i kind of backed off a bit of that phase because i did i could a sense there was going to be something happen between these two drivers because they're both very aggressive drivers and I just wanted to sit behind and just wait and see what happened as you see Miro managed to get himself back ahead of Steve Gaiman already but Steve Gaiman is going to go back at him there you can see he's going for that move on the right hand side this just looked like disaster to me and I, I was like kind of wanted to sit back a bit you can see I break very early for this corner because I could see there was going to be something happening Mura goes very late and in my opinion a little bit too aggressive into that corner and hits Steve I think Steve deserved that corner but um, Mura didn't want to give it up and now they're going to go side by side for here so but now I can see them battling I saw a little opportunity here we go down the right hand side we've got the power and the traction from that corner to really go for a move and we managed to get ahead of RC Mura who understeers all the way off the track because yeah, there's no grip on the outside part there and I managed to get myself up into P3rd so very nice for me and I think RC Mura also picked up a half a second penalty for running over the um, track limits because he ran so far wide but Jomas also got through there very um, scary moment for Jomas I think there is RC Mura just understeered off the track and now in P3 I'm I, this is the point where I flashed Steve Gaiman and pulled all the way over to the right just to say stick to your racing line because we don't want to battle on and Steve Gaiman got that message loud and clear there you could see straight away back over to the race line and the reason I wanted to do this was just to try and keep Jomas around seven tenths behind something like that just so that I'm not under pressure from a car behind and I can just concentrate on my racing for these laps and just look after the tires really these first seven laps first six laps for me was just all about maintaining my front tires and then on the final two laps final three or two laps we can start going a bit aggressive and maybe go for a move at the end but th for this part now we want to pull away we want to secure the top five positions so you know if there's a mistake made or if there's any sort of battling we don't want to bring another group of cars involved with it so i'm again just going to make it clear at all opportunities to steve i'm not going to try and throw the car up the inside i'm going to constantly you know swing the car over to the left there's no point battling at this at this stage and we're not even halfway through the race yet and we just want to keep these positions for now because even p3 would be a good position for me in the mustang at this track um, the Mustang was strong around here, but to be able to get P3 when you've got um, Toyotas in your race, I think there was three or four Toyota 86s in this race, Manuel Rodri, etc. there in P5, um, Mura, Rick, all in Toyotas. And the Jag was also surprisingly quick around here, although I think the Jag suffered a little bit with the um, tyre wear during this race compared to the Toyota, obviously, but the same as the Mustang. The Mustang is really bad on the front tyres, and that is why I've got that brake bias all the way to the rear, and I did practice driving with it like that to save as much front tyres as possible so we're trying to take it really smooth you see going down to third gear then an early upshift into fourth because i didn't want to get on that dirty you know on the grass on that left hand side because then it affects your tyres through this corner and the car gets a little bit unsettled and that will take more wear out of the tyres as well but keeping it smooth at the moment just sticking in that slipstream and trying to weigh it up really trying to see where steve gaming is weak where he might be vulnerable to an attack now i could see that he wasn't too quick through that corner and i was able to get quite close to the rear on a number of occasions but then the power of the jag just seemed to stretch that lead a little bit we're even though we're in the slipstream and the mustang is a very fast car it wasn't really fast enough to um, go for a move into this corner so again you could see I'm just letting him know. I flashed him there and pulled over to the right. I'm not going to go for a move, so stick to your racing line. Let's not get um, anyone else involved with this battle. Again, I'm all the way to the left. He was looking like he was going to go defensive, but then he saw me um, swing it back over to the left. He knows that I'm not going to go for a move there. And again, through this, I seem to have quite good exit on that corner as well. I was, I was noticing coming out of that right hand that we seem to have good exit. And through this section, the Jag seems to have um, a little bit more of a cautious approach. Um, doesn't seem to have to get it back in line as well as the Mustang, but then on the power, it was really hard you can see the jaguar really pulls out of them corners with an amazing amount of traction and also speed i mean we're in the slipstream and we're not gaining massive you can see i'm gaining now but i'm not going to go for a move you can see i'm flashing him here just to say i'm not going to go for the move I'm just sticking behind him you can see i actually got off the throttle a bit because um, I don't want to battle, I don't want to lose time and let Jomas get involved with this battle that we're having for P2. 
as we go to the replay camera now you can see just how close this is we're putting Steve Gaiman under a bit of pressure now and it was at this phase where I could start seeing that um, Steve Gaiman seemed to be struggling a bit with the front tyres he didn't seem to have to turn in through the corners he seemed to be understeering quite a lot so I was starting to think when you know he's starting to hold me up at this phase now a little bit I felt like I could go a bit faster and maybe I'm gonna to have to consider where I'm gonna make the move but I didn't want to go for anything rash and um, you know lose a lot of time in the process because if we have a little look on that replay camera we've got Jomis and Manuel Rodri in that trio 286 that is going to be very strong towards the end of the race just sitting behind us so we need to take this very cautiously and think about when we're going to make this move and where we're going to make this move as well as you can see again just keeping it nice and smooth still looking after them tyres not really worrying about throwing it up the inside and you know pushing them out of the way and destroying our tyres in the process and giving other people the opportunity to get involved with this battle it's all about just maintaining um position as you see we take very different lines in the two cars the jags able to widen the line in but the mustang had the the ability to take that really aggressive line by staying on the throttle and still get into the final corner really nicely so again down this straight um picking up the slipstream but we're not really going to be close enough here you can see we're a little bit too far so you can see me flashing them again just saying stick to your racing line don't go defensive because we, we just don't want to battle at this stage and this is um i think this is more racecraft really you don't want to be battling when you've got cars um that close behind you at this stage the final lap or the last you know lap eight and nine that's when the battling can commence and you can start going for that move because at the moment we're both in p2 and three good positions to be finishing in this race um you can see rick's too far ahead out there he's had no battling and i think i don't think i would have had pace to keep with that Toyota 86 anyway but I definitely feel like I had a bit more pace in this Jag at this phase of the race. Now, early on, it was fairly even, I think. But now, with the tyre, with the brake bias that I've been running and the fact that the Mustang is fairly... Um, it looks like the front tyres are in good condition because I've been looking after them. We're going to start looking for opportunities. You can see there, I went for the move there. Now, we're going to start going aggressive and trying to look for opportunities. He knows that now. We're into the last you know, stage of the race. I'm going to try and take a really good exit from this corner. Getting on the power nice and early. He sensed that. He's going to go defensive. He could see that I might go for an opportunity there. So I just st stay very much to the wide and uh, the wide line to try and give a really solid exit out of this final corner. This is really important. We have to get on the power nice now. I really plan that throttle down. And we get a very, very nice exit there. Now, this might be an overtaking opportunity. You can see how close we are. We're in that slipstream. We're building up speed. Need to get it in sip gear before I... Um, pull out of that slipstream because I want to get a bit of tow while we're in sixth gear and that manages to get us alongside on the right side we're gonna to have to break insanely late now we break extremely late down to third gear hold the apex that Steve actually tries to turn in a little bit too early there but we do a really nice move and make a great position into p2 in this race now Joe mistook took advantage there as well but if you look in the mirror Manuel Rodri goes for a bit of a late dive here now um, a little tap into the side of Joe Miss there oh that looked a bit aggressive and Jomas loses out on two positions, so a bit frustrating for Jomas there. And you see um, Manuel Rodri giving that position back, I think, on this straight. Now you'll see this, the, the, the position change. But let's have a little look at the move we made on Steve Gaming going into turn one. We picked that slipstream up. I thought he would have gone to this right hand side, but he decided to try and defend the left hand side. So I put the car around the outside, brake really late downshift to third gear hold the apex but steve just turns in a little bit too early we were giving him space and he, he just turned i think he tried to tuck underneath us and maybe get the undercut but misjudged it but then now we've got a clear track and the advantage of that tire saving is we're able to really push because i've obviously been looking after them tires and i'm, I'm going to try and do a very good lap for this final lap that we're about to start lap eight is going to be a little bit slower because obviously we've just had that battling and we had to take a bit of a compromise entry into that corner when we did the overtake but it was worth it because we're now in p2 in top split lobby and about if we can hold this position all the way to the end we're going to pick up some very very good and solid points that will put me back up there in terms of the championship for ford it's very close at the front at the top end in ford i'm a little bit behind before at the you know before this race if we can pick up a solid race here we're going to put ourselves back in the mix and an opportunity to uh, maybe if we get another good result fight for the lead or at least the top two positions for Ford as we now start that final lap all about trying to keep it nice and smooth now we've got a gap to Steve Gaiman and we're just going to try and bring this home we're 1.4 seconds ahead as we went over the line can we increase that lead I, I felt like I could because the tyres now were probably in a bit better condition than what Steve Steve's tyres were especially with him driving the Jag and we're going to try and take it nice and smooth here but we don't want to make it we don't want to push too hard that we make mistakes but we want to obviously make sure that we don't give anyone the slipstream 
and they they're able to maybe attack us anywhere but you can see driving really nice on this final lap we're actually matching the pace of the leader on this final lap and um, rick in p1 but i'm guessing that that um, rick in the toyota wasn't really pushing he's got a five second lead he can afford to just pretty much cruise around and take the win but at the moment driving this last lap very well keeping it nice and tight on the apex there on the power nice and early swinging it back over to the left hand side to swing it into this right hand corner and again very patient on the throttle you have to be very patient because you can run out wide on there very easy but doing that again very nice and we've got we've gained two temps on this lap to p3 so yeah the tire seems to be a little bit more favor towards myself um on this final lap as we're gonna swing it into this final corner on the power nice and early and at this point i know i've picked up a p2 and a solid position a solid race for ford um, for the ford mustang at this track against very very strong competition you can see they're really happy with that we get a 27.5 on our final lap on them tires as well which shows you what uh, i did quite a good job with them and tires and actually got that lead to 1.8 seconds so we gained four attempts and that was why we did all that tyre saving and just looking after the tyres to try and give ourselves the best of ability once we overtook to keep that position. And we, we did pretty much the perfect race. Coming home in P2 and some very, very solid points for Ford. I think this for this race, we ended up coming home with, I think it was 2.7k points, which we'll have a little look when the screen loads up as we go through to it now. So there it is, P2 in the FA Manufacturers Championship. And it is... 2,757 points so I can't complain at that my best score so far for the manufacturers now we need to get a couple more races like that although we have got some difficult ones with fuel saving involved which we probably won't be bothering to do if I'm honest because Ford is one of the worst manufacturers for fuel and um, it's not really worth racing them no stop races because you can't compete so we'll just concentrate on I think the races where we can actually compete um, in terms of manufacturer anyway I hope you enjoyed that video I thoroughly enjoyed that race and a really good um, result to come away with p2 make sure you click that like button if you enjoyed it and click the notification button so you don't miss any future videos thanks again everyone <laughs>